the origin of the selfie stick, Sage and I were traveling. She was young, and uh, I, we were actually in Europe. I was in Italy at the Ponte Vecchio, and I, she was taking a picture of me. I was taking a picture of her, and then you're trying to flag down somebody that understands English, which is not always, you know, have to kind of wait to see who might be likely, somebody wearing a camera maybe. Uh, or I would stabilize it on a fence or post of some sort and set the self-timer and have to run in. And I kept thinking, there's got to be a better way, or we'd be at a restaurant, we want to get a picture of the two of us, and I'd put sugar packets to try to stabilize it, but then we're taking a picture that's kind of up our nose more. Mm -hmm. So this is where I uh, thought, okay, how do we get it so that the camera would appear to be floating in, in air as if a ghost is holding it? And that was the uh, genesis of it. Well, when I was at Western University, I would bring the quick pot over there, and I'd take it to parties and stuff like that, and everyone thought it was so cool. But at the time, the word selfie, you know, didn't really exist, wasn't popular, so we had to create names. You know, we called it a monopod, handheld monopod, and then the evolution, it just kept going. The selfie craze hit, and then everyone just started calling it a selfie stick. And I mean, I've always loved it. I thought it was really fun, but it's really nice that people are recognizing that it's a really fun, I guess, accessory. The history of my own inventions, they were always uh, inspired to for Sage as she grew up. So there's an evolution of, of inventions, starting with toys, and I had things like tie-dye teddy, which was a little thing to teach her the art of tie-dye. And it became a very popular toy, and it became tie-dye doodle bear and tie-dye Barbie. It went on into all sorts of different var variations. And then the magic mirror, because when Sage was a kid, took her to see Beauty and the Beast, and it was a, you know, it was a great animation. I remember taking Sage to a Disney meeting in Glendale, California. I was four. And she was like four running around, and then somebody said, you know, who's, she was at the first, like, say, she's grown up in this industry. And she was always with her and her friends. They were my, my test market. I never showed strangers. Like we have focus little group. focus groups of yeah. these little kids <laughs> and their parents, and uh, you know, getting their opinions. So it's uh, the quick pod, the selfie stick, is really an extension, no pun intended, of that whole you know inventing for Sage and uh, you know as a family. I just thought it would be nice for us and other families to be able in, to be included in the photo. It wasn't meant just for somebody to sit there taking you know, 600 of their own photographs. It was so that the photographer was never left out of the picture. That was the original intention.